Hello viewer, welcome to my channel. This is Imres Kanratin. In my previous video, I showed how we can call an API in multiple projects. In this video, I am going to show you a basic authentication using ASP.NET Web API. I have a database, University DB, with a table, a student table, and there are some e students I already inserted with their gender. Now I am going to take another table for authentication. Use a name, password, primary key, auto increment, save, user table, refresh. Now I am um, inserted some record username user1 password 4 username user2 234 okay my intention is when i log in with user1 then i want to get only the male students and when i will log in with user2 then I will get only female students record. So let's see how we can do it. This is my project. In my last video, I created this project. You will find the link in the description part. I already have this student data model and you can see here we have only one table. Now I need to update entity data model for add, adding user table. So let's update model from database. Select user table. Finish. Okay, done. Save. Okay, done. Open project student service. Here I'm gonna take a student security class for login method. So right click on the project add class student security. Okay, let's create a login method. Static bool login stream username password using university university db entities. Entities okay, it will return entities from user table any username. String comparison dot ignore case and password equal to password. Okay. Done. I'm going to take another class, basic authentication attribute, add class, basic 
authentication attribute and it will inherit authorization filter attribute okay done i'm gonna make a uh, override method of on authorization so override on authorization so if action context dot request dot headers authorization null then response will be request dot create response HTTP status code unauthorized Maybe response okay else string token dot request header dot authorization parameter authorization parameter string okay here authentication token is in base 64 this is in base 64 token so decode it token encoding dot utf8 get a string convert from base 64 string token okay done the format of this decoded token is like username clone password so i want to take username and password separately so username split this zero same as I'm gonna take the password and one now if a student security login username and password is true then create current principal equal new generic principal new generic identity and username comma roles for this case i'm giving now okay and if false then action context dot response equal request dot 
create response HTTP status code will be unauthorized okay basic authentication attribute class is done let's modify a student's controller i am going to modify this web api so of public http response message get and here basic authentication string username equal trade dot current principal dot identity dot name which will be user one or user two using university db entities entities equal new uh, right switch case username dot to lower case case if username is equal to user one then it will return request dot create response http status code will be okay and entities dot students where is dot gender gender equal male dot to list okay done same as if username is equal to user 2 then it will return female students and default return request dot create response http status code will be bad request okay let's modify our students.html page here i'm gonna take two input fields one is username input type text id username another input field password type password and id password okay done for authentication we need to take headers in ajax part so let's add headers here i am taking authorization we need to take this basic string here space as take txt username dot file and it will be separate 
with colon and here txt password dot val okay and I am making this part as base 64 so btoa which will convert it into base 64 format let's take when complete function if data dot stat equal 401 means unauthorized then empty will append lie plus data dot status plus same data dot status status text I'm closing li hash missing let's modify here and I want to see the gender also so file dot gender okay save user one password one two three four all students are male let's give user two password same one two three four get only female students return let's give an invalid username and password say a a a password get unauthorized okay done thanks for watching if you like this video then please comment and share and subscribe my channel for next video tutorial. Thank you.